What's up guys, it's the Casual Aussie back again for another episode of the Pokemon Y Keller Slot. In the last episode we got to um Camp yeah, we got to Camp Free Town, we caught a skiddo, and we also went north to try and start heading towards the Parfum Palace to actually get the flute so we can wake Snorlax up. But before we go to Parfum Palace, let me give you guys a quick team recap. Starting off, we have Cinder the Fletchling, Rocking Tackle, Grout, Quick Attack, and Peck. Then we have uh, Titania the Flabay with Tackle, Violent Fairy Wind, and Lucky Chance. Larry, our newly evolved Quillad in our starter Pokemon, Tackle, Leech Seed, Violent Weapon, Roll Out. Then we have Nala the Lit Leo with Headbutt, Leo, Ember, and Workup. Next, we have Scatterbrain the Vivian with Tackle, Infestation, Stun Spore, and Protect. And then finally, we have Lola the Bunnelby with Return, Agility, Quick Attack, and Leo. Let us go. Let us go. I put. Okay, we do want to avoid these bushes because they do give us, um. Fanapies to deal with. Do you know what? We need the levels. Let's take on this trainer. We could always use the levels. We have three Pokemon, one of which is a Zigzagoon. Yeah, I, I really, really should have given you, um, a turn. Good news, Zigzagoon is not doing much to us, which is actually pretty relieving. Though that isn't. That attack drop really isn't. But hey, Zigzagoon is down. That is a rolls, however. Um, you know what? Actually, no. We need to get Cinder evolved. We need to get Cinder evolved. Let's just stick with um. Let's just stick with Cinder. Also, it's interesting to think that they'd pro Cinder would probably be evolved right now if we had the XP share, which we do not. I just realized we're in Puffin Palace. At I'm playing at night. Oh, we get the fireworks scene at night. That is nice, actually. Um, that is a gold pin. You know, what? let's bring Lola. Let's bring Lola. I should have probably put Mud Slap on you. But it doesn't matter. <laughs> Actually, no, I should not have put... No oh, okay, poison gas. That would have been annoying to deal with. Yeah, I think gold pins are physically bulky. The good news, we haven't got poisoned. We haven't gotten poisoned. Actually, oh, I didn't address this in the last episode, but Christmas has passed. Um, how was your Christmas? I that's not the question of the day, but was it a Merry Christmas to all? I should say. Um, yeah, I can't believe it slipped my mind in the last episode. But anyway, let us go. Um, we'll grab our encounter on the way out. I think. I do know there's that entrance fee, so hopefully we actually have enough to get in. Because, yeah, you know, you ch charge us a pretty steep entrance fee, fee of 1,000, mate. Yes. Yeah, like, that just broke, that just broke our account. We actually needed that money. But anyway, they slowly open. We can head on in as soon as Shauna runs in ahead of us. Because of course she does. At least this is what one good time to have the roll skates. But anyway, where is it? Oh yeah, this is. Uh, yeah, we have to. Let's just hope this first fruit puzzle does not take too much time. We have stuff to do. 
Oh, great. We're going to have to fight that Snorlax, aren't we? I don't actually think our team can handle Snorlax. Um, yeah, I really don't think so. So what is through here? Alright. You know, let's explore the palace a bit, but... We are not ready to fight Snorlax. No way in heck we are ready. That is actually concerning. Um, Snorlax is level, like, 15, I believe. No, there's no way Snorlax is that high. There's no way Snorlax is that high. That seems a little too much. I believe we also get a TM from these guys, don't we? Yeah, so we say fur fruit. We get the perk fruit and we get a... Oh, wait, get the TM for protect. That's right. Yeah, that's right. We get the TM for protect. Uh, let's see. What are you guys doing here? I saw a wink. Okay, um... Yeah, actually, you guys can just let me know if there's anything good in this castle. Um, I should probably just head down and... I should probably... Yeah, I should probably just head down and go find that fur fruit. So, check out... That is some nice scenery, not gonna lie. That's just here. We have a fur fruit to find. You know, this is probably a good time for the question of the day. Um, today's question of the day. Um, what is your favorite form of Esper? Do you like the male form better, or do you like the female form better? Personally, I do like the female form better. The male form is a bit too much of a blue to a blue color for me. I like. I honestly like the white, white with blue highlight, with blue as a secondary color, a lot more. Unfortunately, we can't get an encounter here. Which is upsetting, but anyway, let's just continue forward. I believe it is... In this one. Yes, Furfru is here. And we move Shauna to trap it in. Okay, so I believe, yeah, I get Shauna to stand here. Then I come at Fur through from this way. Unless I leave Shauna where I can. I think I. Okay, yes. Okay, so I think I have Shauna stand here. Yeah, and then we and then we block him in. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, we block Shauna in. So we put. Okay, we'll put Shauna here. We put Shauna here, and then we go up the other way. And that is. It's that simple. Phew, well done. We finally... Oh, my dear fur fruit. My beloved fur fruit. Let us just... And now we have to go for fireworks. Honestly, the fireworks scene in this game, it, I actually, I do like it, I just, yeah, I do find it a bit pointless in a Nuzlocke, especially since I want to get moving, but for, like, since I'm not exactly, like, paying much attention to the story here, I probably should be, I probably should slow down a little bit at some point, but yeah, I'm... Okay, so yeah, we go up here, 
And then we go to the balcony, right? Yeah, we go to the balcony and then we go up here. Sean will meet us here and we'll watch some fireworks. You know, I've never watched fireworks alone with a boy before. Okay. But you gotta mind this cutscene. It's such a beautifully done cutscene. We haven't even seen them yet, but I know I'll never forget these fireworks. Because I watched them with you, Casual. Okay, it is a, it's a very, very touching scene. Maybe I should slow down a bit. So yeah, they look so much better at night. They, they really, really do. They really do. Wow, that was amazing. I'll never forget this. I'll keep this memory in an album in my in an album in my heart. And let's see. Like, they're seriously, they just blew a ton of money on fireworks for a couple of kids because they found a dog. So they found their first fruit. I mean, it's a, gr it's a great reward, honestly. But, damn. You just spent all that money just because your lost dog was found in your back garden. Library. Yep, we get protect here. Yeah, I think we get our encounter and then we go fight Saws. Fighting Snorlax is not gonna be fun. Okay, what is our what is our plan for Snorlax? Because we we can't catch it because it is. Uh, I think we I think we leech seed infestation it. I think that is our play and heal store. I think that is our play. It is such a terrible play. Unfortunately, it might. I do want to like properly battle it with Nala or something, but actually, no. It's it's physical defense is terrible. Um, Bunnelby should have a good time with it. I just hope it's not level fifteen because that is going to actually be terrifying. I think it's level 10 or 15. I hope it's not 15. I really, really hope it's not 15. I should have done my research. I really should have done my research. The good news, once we actually take out, um, Snorlax, I believe we can get... I think we can only get Spritzy. Well, that's... Yeah, I think Spritzy is the Y version exclusive, which, I mean, hey, it's a fairy type, but Aromatis isn't exactly known for being a good Pokemon. I would honestly much rather Swirlix if we can get it. I'm not sure if we can, though. But hey, our encounter here is an Esper! And it's a female Esper. Okay, my favorite form too. That's actually pretty. That's actually pretty cool. Um, we're gonna go for tackle. Good news. That is a that is a Pokemon in the box. Okay, I should have healed. I sh really, really should have healed. But yeah, I think we hit up the par I think we hit up the Pokemon Center after this, and then we go and fight Snorlax. Crazy to think that soon we'll actually be at the second gym. That's actually crazy to think about. Oh god, I'm so glad that wasn't a crit. But anyway, let us let us throw our Pokeball. Hopefully we can catch this S Pearl without too much trouble. Um So what do we name what do we name S Pearl? That's the question. That is a really good question. I'm gonna throw a great ball. So let's throw a normal park ball once more and then we'll throw a great ball. But what do I name this Esper? That is a good question. 
Okay, yeah, great ball it is. Maybe that's a net ball. We throw a great ball. Luxury ball could be something we use. One, two, three, and we got it. Okay. So what do we name Esper? Um. That is a good. That is a good question. That is a actually a good question. Um, trying to. I'm actually trying to think now. Um, you know what? It's a it's a psychic type. We're naming it Sabrina. We are naming it. Sab we're naming it Esper Sabrina. It works. It just works. It really just it just works. Somehow it just works. Oh yeah, that double battle is I think that's true Furfer is in a double battle. We're not we're not playing with that. Yeah, I remember hearing stories of I think it was Kinder who advised me to avoid that. Or it was um or I remember, like, Metamech running into it in his, um, Pokemon X wedlock, I... No, Nuzlocke. It was a Nuzlocke. But anyway, we go up here. We follow... Okay, which way? No. Okay, so it is this way. It is this way. Okay, good. Yeah, it is this way. Let's see. We go this way, and then we forward the trainers, and then we just skate on through. Snorlax is actually terrifying me. Snorlax actually terrifies me. It's not good. It really is not good. <sighs> oh, I honestly, um, so this is a three episode recording session. I think, yeah, after the next episode, I think I'm going to do a bit of a grind, a bit of a grind. Oh, I actually can't remember. Do we get any Pokemon coming up in the cave? That actually might be something to look at. Because if not, that'll be the perfect grinding spot after the next episode. Actually, no, I think we make it to Camp Free Town next episode, which that'll be... Actually, that might not be a bad place to grind, especially the rats near it. And we did leave a Fletchling up front, so hey, we can get Fletchling send us some XP. Please don't be a level 15 Snorlax. Ah, oh, crumbs it is. It really is. Okay, we're going to go for Growl. We're going to weaken this thing's attack. And you're going to supercharge your defense. Where's that unaware beater when we need it? We are actually in serious trouble now. Because not only is it level 15, it's supercharged defense. And it is stacking its defense. I hope this thing doesn't actually have curse because otherwise we've just wasted time. I think that was... Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. Um, okay, that was the fourth. Okay, thank goodness we have the infestation leech seed plan. Thank goodness we have the infestation and leech seed plan. I think we set up inf let's set up infestation first. Let's set up infestation. But <laughs> no, that was no. Why do you have amnesia and defense girl? Why? Just why do you have amnesia 
and the defense curl. We could paralyze you too. We could paralyze you too. That is okay. Actually, that is not bad. We can par. Yeah, we can paralyze you. That is, that is actually pretty good. Forgot we had stun spore, and I said we did at the beginning of the episode. But now I believe. Okay, so now I believe we switch out into Larry. We go for Leaf Seed, and then I think we just start chipping away at it. And the screen has become tilted again. I don't know how. Actually, I probably should not try to fix that during a video. Yeah, I should probably not try to fix that during a video, but... Let's just go for Leech Seed. Does it? I'm curious. Does Infestation end if you switch out? So I think it may have. I think it may have. So we're going to have to go back into, um... Scatter, yeah, we're gonna have to go back and scatterbrain and go for infestation again. Okay, that was okay. Well, we learned we should have gone for leech seed first, but it, it's fine. It's fine. <sighs> Who knew I'd be using this as a stally way to stack against the stalax? Um, yeah, let's go for infestation. But the downside is we literally can't touch you. We literally have to wait like... Oh, no! Oh, we have to wait longer now. Yeah, we, we literally just keep clicking infestation. Yeah, we just click infestation. Yeah, we click infestation. Hope for the best. Good news, you are paralyzed. Uh, that makes our jobs quite a bit easier. Okay, that was a crit. Um, so yeah, I think this battle is ours now. Yeah, that is, that is great. That really is great. And I believe, yeah, this, we take it, we take Snorlax out here. I think I might just get the encounter before ending off the episode. I think, yeah, I think that is the best thing to do. Cinder is going to go to level 17, which is great for us. And Cinder is going to evolve finally. get rid of tackle for Ember like I planned to last episode. But hey, now we have now we have two middle form mons, one fully evolved mon. Both of which are terrible against Grant. No. We have a fully evolved mon and a middle mon against Grant. That is actually not good at all. It's just you, let's see. But yes, we go in here. Yeah, we get Spritzy, I believe. We definitely don't get Flabebe, because we've already got one.
We definitely don't get Roselli, even though that, oh, that would actually be nice. Roselli would actually be really, really nice. Actually, let's, you know what, let's put on um, Lola off. Yeah, let's put Lola off from. We're going to need Lola for the next gym. We should probably start grinding her. Oh, uh, uh, please don't tell me Tiana and Trevor. No, I don't want to check out the daycare, you guys. Guys, I literally don't care about the daycare. Thank you for that pointless detour, my friends. Actually, you know what? It might just be a good idea to actually end off the episode now and run back to the Pokemon Center. Now that I think about it, it might, it might actually be the best idea. Well, that Moonlight. No, that was Lucky Chan. Okay. That is actually a nice animation. I actually do. Actually, I don't even believe I've seen Lucky Chan's animation before now. Anyway, Lola is going to grow to level 14. But yeah, you know what? I'm just going to do that. Yeah, I'll just run back to the Pokemon Center now, so let me end off the episode. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. Don't forget to answer the question of the day. And remember that there's links to my Twitter in the description box below, so follow me on there for more updates and uploads. But anyway, I'm going to get out of here for now. So until next time, stay frosty.